Yeah. So, hi guys, this is Dr. Anderson from Anderson Podiatry Center, and I'm here with uh, John. He comes in, and he, it's been about a year since he had uh, what we like to call restorative medicine nowadays. We call it that, but basically what it is is uh, we used placenta cells, and we injected that into his heel, and you're about a year out, right? And you're yeah. how much better? Have you had a lot any pain? Better. A lot better. 90% maybe? Or? I'd say, yeah, maybe something like that. Yeah, yeah, because it was quite sore to walk on and I don't feel you, it now. You just so don't have any pain? And I don't have any pain at how all. How fast, how much, how fast did you get better? Pretty quick, did you say? I, I guess I never washed it, but I was, you know, slowly over a few months. It took a few it took months. took a while, yeah. Yeah, it took a few months, I okay. think. And then, you know, pretty soon I didn't even realize it wasn't It was hurting. gone. Yeah. <laughs> Great. So. And so what we're doing today, when we do this, folks, when we're doing these, uh, before we do uh, the procedure, before we do any treatments, oftentimes when you come in here, we're going to ultrasound your heel. And this is an ultrasound of John's heel. And uh, this may not mean anything to you, but I'm going to explain a little bit about what we're seeing. Right here is his heel bone. And then these little lines right there indicate a measurement that we've found out. Uh, measure is about five millimeters. So his fascia is five millimeters in thickness. Now, kind of in the four millimeter to five millimeter range is what you would expect would be normal uh, if you have no heel pain. And, uh, and the more severe the heel pain, the more severe the thickening is. And his was up to 8.9 before we did the procedure with the regenerative medicine. So uh, this is to just show you physically from an ultrasound evaluation this is objective data to kind of back up that this is a real deal because he was at 8.9 very thickened very degenerating tissue in his fascia what we like to call plantar fasciosis not plantar fasciitis plantar fasciitis but rather plantar fasciosis because studies have shown that the fascia is actually deteriorating so by repairing it with the placenta cell now it's getting back to more normal size. And he's really approaching almost full normal uh, after having this done a year ago and he remains pretty much symptom free. So anyway, thank you for watching and thank you, John, for doing this video. And if you have any questions, folks, comment or consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thank you.